Alex Brunner with RHG Products and Tucker USA. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a new RO membrane in your Rival Plus. Uh, this is also applicable to the uh, basic Rival cart. So first thing you want to do is make sure you have the right uh, tools uh, needed. And it's just basic uh, tools uh, and optional uh, gloves to protect you against uh, the lubricant that, uh, that you'll need to apply especially uh, it might transfer to your clothes and once it's in your clothes, it won't come out. So um, grab this stuff here. So you just need a socket ratcheting wrench and a combination wrench. And in this case, these are half inch. So I kind of set that aside, kind of go over uh, real quick. So this is just really basically nine steps, uh, nine quick steps to get this uh, swapped out. First thing you want to do is remove the clamp that is holding in the insert. So we're going to take our tools here. Now I've already kind of loosened this up. So quickly loosen that. And really you only need to remove one side. And there we go. Next step, we want to disconnect the hose. Now, it's important to uh, notate uh, which hose goes where. It's very crucial to get it put back in the same manner. Uh, otherwise, it could uh, foul up or, and uh, make your RO go bad pretty quick. So you want to notate that uh, the center port, uh, that is going to your DI. That's the center port is your permeate uh, water, your, your, your good water. And the other one will go to, in this case, uh, through the uh, pressure gauge. So we'll disconnect those. I guess I'll just leave that down there. Next, we want to take this insert hub off. Um, if it's been a while, it might be a little hard to get out off. Okay. And here you go. This will come off. Um, you might have residual uh, lubricant on there, so be mindful of that. Set it down somewhere where you won't get any of that lubricant on it. All right, next we're going to get our RL out. So this is out of the box. Get that ready, set aside. Obviously, this system is a new system, so it doesn't have an RO uh, filter in there, but uh, you want to obviously remove the old membrane. And now you might find it easier to kind of lay it horizontally and kind of tilt it to help uh, that RO to slide out. So once you have that discarded, you're going to get your RO membrane. And inside the box, you'll have a packet of this uh, molly coat lubricant and you want to make sure you lubricate both permeate tubes um, and this way it would fully uh, set into the inserts on the bottom and the top and inside there's actually uh, smaller o-rings in there and if you fail to lubricate it you may uh, dislodge those o-rings Next, we'll put the RO membrane into the housing. You want to make sure that you have this brine seal right here, this white seal, facing upwards as you drop it in. Otherwise, if you install it this way, it's going to catch along the housing. It's going to make it drag, and it could uh, cause some issues. Now that should have just, and it did, it just, uh, that little portion dropping it in there, and what it fully set inside the insert that's on the bottom. Next, we'll grab this insert here. 
Now, as, since this is new, this is uh, fully coded along there. Uh, if it's been a few years since you've used it and you're now changing out your RO, uh, you might uh, want to use more of this lubricant. Apply it on here and make sure that these O-rings are su sufficiently covered. And then we'll reinstall the insert. All right, we can now discard our gloves. Get our clamps put back on. And then tighten this back up. Okay. Once you have the clamps on, you can reconnect your hoses. Uh, remember that you, it's crucial that you get them connected the right way. Just the one you really want to focus on then obviously you only have one left is that the center port goes to your di so over here we see the di's right here so we follow it back up push it in reconnect our other one and there you go yeah that's how you have it installed so when you install a new ro membrane just like when you first received your cart you're going to want to flush your bypass valve for at least 20 minutes. So we're gonna have that in the open position. We're gonna connect our, our source water to it. As always, we'll have this lying down, um, the best for operating. And then we're gonna, like I said, flush that for 20 minutes. And ideally, you would want to let the RO membrane soak overnight before initial use. So there you have it nine simple steps to install your RO membrane in your Rival Plus. Thank you.